short-term cash. Read about it in our brochure, Creative Cash Management. Free from Capital National Bank, downtown. Hey, Coach, I've got business in Denver. All right. Fly Frontier Airlines. Never heard of them. Well, they're new. Good food? Excellent. Leg room? Even for me. Nine stops? Three a day from Hobby. Coach, they're new. How do you know they're good? <laughs> Kenny, you're new. Are you any good? Hey, I'm the best. So I guess the best way to Denver is Frontier Airlines. The best way to Denver, Kenny, is lose a ball game. <laughs> <laughs> At Kroger, 44 cents every day, 49 cents every day, $1.19 every day, 17 cents every day, 33 cents every day, 69 cents every day. These are just a few of Kroger's hundreds of everyday low super cost cutter prices. Super cost cutters can save you up to 40% over the other brands of pantry staples Kroger carries. Get super cost cutters at Kroger. Clint Eastwood stars Sunday night at 10.30 here on 13 Houston. From 13 Eyewitness News, this is The Late Report. With Dave Ward, the sports with Bob Allen, and the weather with Ed Brandon. Good evening, friends. Houston is in the forefront of a major issue tonight. It's causing heated discussion on all sides. For the first time, the Justice Department is seeking to force a major city into a school desegregation remedy involving both the city and its suburbs. The government today charged that 22 suburban school districts around Houston helped cause a concentration of minority students in the Houston School District. The suit seeks a metropolitan or cross-district desegregation plan. Eyewitness News reporter Van Hackett is standing by at tonight's meeting of the Houston School Board where that government suit has been a major topic of discussion. Van? Dave, school officials had received advance warning, so the actual filing came as no surprise. Nonetheless, they were dismayed, and they called the suit actually disruptive. School Board President Terrence Fenley said that the HISD is presently in compliance with all federal court orders, and he said that the school district will press ahead with its present desegregation plan. We are going to continue along at this point with our same plan that we have been working on. That's that uh, inner city metropolitan uh, magnet plan, whether we're trying to get voluntary students coming over into our system from the suburban school districts to assist us in desegregating some of our schools. Superintendent Billy Reagan agreed the district will go ahead with its present plans, adding that forced measures would be counterproductive. Forced busing uh, is totally. Uh, ridiculous. I, told, I think it's totally unproductive and I really believe that with uh, some cooperation that uh, we'll be able to meet this challenge from Washington and uh, solve it in Houston satisfactorily. The Justice Department charges the 22 suburban school districts including Clear Lake in Galveston County and Fort Bend in Pearland and Brazoria County contribute to the concentration of minority students in Houston public schools. For instance, Sheldon, Pasadena, Aleaf, Spring, Katy, Deer Park, and Spring Branch, all in Harris County, have black student enrollments of less than 3%. Of the 310,000 students in these suburban districts, fewer than 11% are black and fewer than 11% are Hispanic. Meanwhile, 46% of Houston students are black, while 28% are Hispanic. The Justice Department was also highly critical of the city of Houston and the state of Texas, both named as parties in the suit. The state is criticized for allegedly encouraging private racial discrimination in housing and for refusing to allow HISD to expand. The city allegedly has refused to approve low-income public or subsidized housing outside of minority neighborhoods. Tonight, Mayor McCann reacted angrily to the charge. The federal government has confused the city of Houston with the Houston Independent School District. We have not been uh, together since 1923. They need to bring their records up to date. Uh, you know, it's foolish, stupid. Uh, they talk about uh, the building of freeways being a, a part of the cause of, uh, of a lack of total integration in the Houston Independent School District. Uh, the freeways were built in 1950. Where were they then? Uh, you know, it, it's kind of a typical harassment of the Justice Department of the City of Houston and our lack of zoning. Rain Zimmerman has also been working on this story, and tonight she talked with Spring Branch Independent School District officials and parents about the effect on their school district. 
These Spring Branch School District parents came to this meeting to get a progress report on their district, an annual report that ironically came on the same day the U.S. Justice Department said some big changes have to be made. Reaction from parents was mixed. Well, personally, uh, the safety of my children is my number one concern. And uh, just getting to and from Spring Branch schools, I think it's a difficult not enough job in the traffic. And I really would hate to see them go across Houston. Okay, so if they said uh, they would bus your child into the Houston Independent School District, you'd say, okay? We would certainly have to consider that possibility as a uh, realistic yes. Spring Branch Superintendent Henry Wheeler says it's still too early to tell what is going to happen, but he says the district will be ready. We would fight it. We would, we would go to court because uh, in past cases you, it has had to be proven that uh, uh, there's been some type of discrimination and there has been no discrimination in our, in our structure of our school system. Wheeler says he will be meeting with district lawyers to discuss possible options and actions. In Spring Branch, Maureen Zimmerman, Eyewitness News. If the suit does go to court, Houston Independent School District Superintendent Billy Reagan says it could take three to five years before it's settled or even longer. From the Houston Independent School District School Board meeting, Van Hackett, live with the Instant Eye. The Congress tonight has approved emergency funds for the food stamp program, keeping food on the tables of needy Americans for at least another month. President Carter is expected to sign the measure this weekend. President Carter tonight is standing by his decision to hold off on any debates until after the conventions when there is a Republican nominee. That means no face-to-face -face debate with challengers Senator Edward Kennedy, who today promised to bow out of the race for the White House if he loses the next round of primaries on the 3rd of June, but only if President Carter would agree to debate with him. Action 13's Marvin Zendler has another report tonight on what he calls the fat war that has resulted in misleading ads for a weight reduction center. Marvin says one such ad proved to be a fake. Yesterday there was a question about the name of a woman who was posing in a before and after picture for a weight reduction center. The owner of that company, Norman Wells, said it was a Joe Banker as advertised but couldn't produce her. Well, today I cleared up who that woman really was. Last night, I showed you this ad from the Houston Post TV Guide for the Weight Reduction Medical Centers. It shows a woman at 190 pounds before and 136 pounds after saying, I lost 54 pounds in only eight weeks. The name Joe Banker is beneath the picture. The same ad ran in Cosmopolitan Magazine in June of 1978. Well, today I found out it is not Joe Banker, but this woman, Judy Camp. Judy is now out of the country, but today I talked to her sister, who is a first grade teacher in the Houston area. Is this a picture of your sister before and after that appeared in the Cosmopolitan magazine in June of 78 and in the Houston Post TV guide uh, as of May the 11th? Yes, sir, it is. Is your sister's name Joanne Banker or Joe Banker? No, Marvin, my sister is Judy Camp. Tell me, what did you think when you saw this uh, ad come out like this? Well, we got a very good laugh out of it because she had put extra clothes under the picture on the left and then changed and uh, normally looks like the picture on the right. How much money did your sister get paid for posing for these pictures? She was paid $100. Was it from a modeling studio? Yes, sir. She's mainly an entertainer, a very good entertainer, but she does model at times, and at that time she uh, was modeling. I went to the weight reduction medical centers and talked to the owner, Norman Wells. He didn't want to say anything yesterday, but today he said it was a mistake by his ad agency and he did not know how the woman miraculously lost 54 pounds. She used three sweatshirts and she put on three pairs of slacks and then they took them off and did the after picture. Did you know that? No, sir, but it's so unnecessary. That's the thing about That's it. That's what I don't understand. Right, because why? we have so Norman, many why thousands. You, why, why, did, why do you run an ad like that? So uh, it wasn't knowledgeable to us that this had transpired. Norman Wells has promised to quit using this ad with a fake fat woman, and from now on, he will take a closer look at his advertisement. And you folks should do the same thing out there, because as I've just shown, seeing is not always believing. Marvin Zindler, Eyewitness News. General Telephone Company less than two hours away from a strike. And we'll have a report on that story and other news in just a moment.
This is a top teller working for Benjamin Franklin Savings customers. It's on duty to add the convenience of 24-hour service to the high interest paid by Benjamin Franklin. You'll find top teller at every Benjamin Franklin office. Benjamin Franklin Savings top teller. High interest on your money with 24-hour convenience. Because you need more than a bank. Every day, more and more people are discovering the true values at Fingers. And Earl Campbell, Houston Oiler All-Pro running back and player of the year, is no exception. We're proud that Earl selected the furnishings for his home at Fingers. Of course, he had a little help from his mother. Take it from Earl. You can really find a lot of furniture you like at Fingers. And furniture mothers like, too. 1034. Hey! Your backhand looked pretty good out there today. A lot of style. Oh, thanks. You've got style off the court, too. Where do you buy those clothes? The men's warehouse. Oh, I thought they just sold suits, sports jackets, that sort of thing. Oh, no, they have uh, low prices on shirts and jeans, and with the money I saved, I can afford to belong to this club. The men's warehouse has casual clothes at casual prices, and that gives me a good feeling all over. The men's warehouse, 10 locations around Houston for a good feeling all over. What makes Seiko the world's best-selling quality quartz watch? The ultra-thin elegance of Seiko's classic styling? Or is it the rich perfection of every detail? Or Seiko technology that created the first analog quartz alarm? What makes Seiko the best-selling quality quartz watch? Maybe it's simply the best. So give him Seiko first in quality quartz, time after time after time. Available at Michael's Jewelry at five locations in Houston. In a late-breaking story, one man reported killed, another injured tonight in an explosion at a Texaco petrochemical refinery in Ontario, Canada, about 25 miles west of Toronto. Officials say they expect to bring the resulting fire under control soon, but they're having problems controlling the traffic and the crowds around that plant. Of the thousands of Houston youngsters who end up in court cases each year, many of them are there because of alcohol or drug-related crimes. Tonight, in part four of a series of reports, we take a look at the grim consequences of teenage drinking and drug abuse. If you ask these teenagers why they like to drink, they'll tell you, because it's fun. Nobody worries about it. Your school grades or anything. Oh, yeah. How about later on? Don't worry about it. Yeah. Everything affects you later on, one way or another. You do everything. I've been in jail nine times. I've wrecked five cars total. Um, I've I've had fights with people. I've uh, um, I've got kicked out of high school. I had to go to a shrink to come back. That was from hitting a counselor in the face with a chair. Last month in Texas, a 15-year-old boy shot and killed two teenage girls. The boy said he was high on marijuana and alcohol. Judge Robert Baum hears court cases involving teenagers every day. At least a third, a fourth to a third of those we hear which are 50 a week per court, uh, 10 to 20, could be chemically related. When I was high, it was, it was great. It was fun. I could run from cops and love it. When you weren't high? When I wasn't high, it was, uh, it was like I was always on the run, always running from something, trying to get away from such and such situation, anything. Just get away, get high. Tomorrow, in the final part of our series, a look at just yeah, one of the programs right. in the Houston School and District understand. designed to help teenagers find other ways of having fun. Watch who you hang out with. Maureen Zimmerman, Eyewitness the, uh... News. Seems almost certain now that a strike by General Telephone Company employees will materialize at one minute after midnight tonight. 
Some 8,000 members of the Communications Workers of America just this evening rejected the last-minute contract offer from General Telephone. That company services more than 400 communities in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and southeastern New Mexico. A couple from Parker, Texas, is suing the producers of the television ser series Dallas, seeking to stop filming at the neighboring South Fork Ranch. Mrs. Susan Barber says this show has made life like living in a shopping center parking lot. I stay out of your life, JR. You stay out of mine. Sue Ellen and JR's battles are fictional, but now there may be a real legal battle involving the real South Fork Ranch here in Parker. The popularity of the weekly TV series Dallas has made the South Fork Ranch a tourist attraction. But the publicity and filming that goes on here once a year is causing concern and a headache for one neighbor. We have a barricade across our driveway because uh, people are constantly turning in and several times they blocked our cars so that we couldn't get out. The suit claims the presence of the film crews and tourists is unhealthy, dangerous and unfit for the maintenance of a home and it asks a judge to stop television crews from filming there this year. It's a, a great big nuisance is what it is and uh, it's an invasion of our privacy. The suit is against CBS, the Lorimar Production Company and South Fork ranch owner J.R. Duncan. South Fork's real J.R. doesn't see where the tourists create a problem. Well, it hasn't bothered my health and they're on my side of the road. Well, it's here, I've just learned to grin and bear it. Nothing I can do about it. While TV viewers are trying to figure out who shot J.R., in real life Dallas, a Collin County judge will decide on Friday whether J.R. and the rest of the Ewings will be residing here at South Fork next season. Barbara White, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Barbara, and we'll be back with a look at sports news with Bob Allen in just a minute. To get the most out of living in Houston, you've got to know what makes it tick. Some say it's Houston business. Some say it's the people. Whatever it is, if it's part of Houston, it's part of the Houston Post. Dial 840-5000 and bring Houston, the nation, and the world to your door every morning. Join nearly three quarters of a million daily readers who know Houston gets there first with the Post. Ward's Bra and Girdle Sale is underway. And I've already put in plenty of time stocking the shelves. There's Ward's Classic Bra and Brief, the Pure Luxury and Magic Cross Bras, and the B-Thin Waistline Brief. The selection is incredible, and you could save 30% on every bra and girdle in stock. The semi-annual bra and girdle sale at Montgomery Ward. Looks like more time stocking shelves for me, and big savings for you. After 10 years, the Shakespeare 606 is still the hottest selling fishing motor in the world. And look what they've got for us now. The new Shakespeare 623 <laughs> took a laser to help design it and a computer. And that three-bladed prop is no gimmick. It's part of an exclusive precision matched motor prop system with 23 pounds of thrust. One of the quietest, most efficient single battery systems ever made. The 623. Fishing has a name. Shakespeare. You can tell it's sometime we're starting off the Toros. If it's time for a new mower, remember from the reliable Toro sidebagger to the work-saving mulcher to the ultimate in mowing, the Toro rear bagger, every part of every Toro is engineered for a long, dependable life. The long night, Toro shine when America mows along. Haven't you done without a Toro long enough? Available at Webster Bicycle and Stanley's Lawnmower. Well, game two of the National Hockey League. Stanley Cup playoffs just over. Philadelphia Flyers beating the New York Islanders. That final score, 6-3. to three. That ties the series at one game each. Once again, the Flyers with the Islanders, 6-3. to three. At the Dome tonight, Houston Hurricane lost to the Los Angeles Aztecs, 3-2. to two. Hurricane goals coming from Perusi and Dale Russell. Lakers center Kareem Abdul-Jabbar will not play in game six of the NBA final series tomorrow night. Jabbar sprained his ankle last night. In the game, the Lakers won over the Philadelphia 76ers. Jabbar did not make the trip to Philadelphia, and if his seventh game is needed on Sunday, doctors say he should be ready to go then. The Astros are taking a needed rest tonight before opening what could be the last home series for a while against the Phillies tomorrow night. 
The players now made a new proposal to the owners today about setting up a joint committee to study free agency for a couple of years and then agreeing, both parties agreeing to do something after that. We haven't gotten any word from the owners yet, uh, supposedly still studying that proposal. In the National League tonight, here's the scoreboard. Pirates over the Giants, 3-2. to two. Cardinals uh, losing to the Padres. That one's just in the first inning. Over to the American League. White Sox over the Brewers, 6-4. Blue Jays beat the Mariners, 1-0. And Boston over Cleveland, 6-2. Former Dallas Cowboys linebacker Thomas Hollywood Henderson will be playing for the San Francisco 49ers next season. Hollywood was traded to San Francisco for what they're calling an undisclosed draft choice. In Fort Worth, the first round of the Colonial Open Invitational Golf, Colonial Invitational Golf Tournament was rained out today. They hope to get it underway tomorrow. Rookie driver Phil Kaliva has become the 10th driver to crash so far at the Indianapolis Speedway in practice. That's a lot, folks. He hit the wall. He was unhurt. Janet Guthrie is hurt, though. She is hurt emotionally, not physically. She's still trying to qualify her car and is being called the inferior, an inferior driver by her teammate, Johnny Parsons Jr. Well, Guthrie's upset because she can't get enough sponsors. I would uh, certainly prefer to have uh, tested over the winter, run the Ontario race, and then come in here with a, uh, a pretty good feeling for, uh, for what we had under us. Why didn't you? Well, um, I have uh, only one sponsor, that's Texaco, and they feel their needs are satisfied by a couple races a year. Is it because you're a woman? I just really don't want to speculate. You're, you're angry, aren't you, about that? I, I feel like I've uh, proved I'm a good enough driver. Never mind the woman part. That doesn't have anything to do with it. A good enough driver to warrant a full-time ride, and I uh, deeply regret that that hasn't happened. She was angry. You couldn't see the smoke coming out from under her driver's seat. That lady was very, very upset. Uh, and let's look at sports. Uh, the Flyers tied it up and won. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Bob. Let's check on the weather picture now with Ed Brandon and see if we've got more severe weather coming up tomorrow, Ed. Uh, none right uh, immediately, but there may be more tomorrow. We'll talk about it next. Taste the high country, no downstream beer will do. Coors is brewed with pure Rocky Mountain spring water and its own special high country barley. It's no downstream beer. It's no city beer. It's Coors. Taste the high country, climb up to Coors. Don't miss the first annual Handy Dan Home Improvement and Garden Expo, May 16th through 18th at the downtown Albert Thomas Convention Center. Funny man Norm Crosby will be there Friday to greet his fans. And Gifford Nielsen, Houston Oilers star, will sign autographs 4 p.m. Saturday. Win a free autograph football. See over 100 demonstrations and do-it-yourself ideas at the Home Improvement and Garden Expo, May 16th through 18th, Albert Thomas Convention Center. We've got more what you're looking for at Handy Dan. There are hamburgers, and then there are hamburgers, like the kind you get at Whataburger. Fresh as it can be, it's more than a hamburger, it's a hamburger. And at Whataburger, well, you never pay extra for lettuce and tomato. That's why hamburgers go by lots of names, but there's only one way to describe a hamburger, and that's a Whataburger. Our snapper handles snow removal, gardening, and lawn care. It's easy. I just lower the cutting unit, engage the power, and off I go. One pedal controls my speed and direction, and my snapper is really rugged, which makes the tough job seem small, I like plowing in my garden. Incredible, snapper. <laughs> we couldn't do it without you. Any way you cut it, it's a snap with snapper. Among other things in Texas weather today, a trough in the western part of the state, a surface low pressure cell, a warm front, and an upper level low pressure disturbance. It all combined to cause some rather severe weather throughout the state. Here are three satellite pictures that will give you a pretty good idea of what happened during the day. This first was taken at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and at that time, the only places in Texas that reported any fair skies were south of Midland and down along the Rio Grande Valley. At uh, 2 o'clock, there were some very heavy thunderstorms to the west of Houston. Moving to the east, it looked like we were going to be completely in 
inundated. By 6.30 this afternoon, the uh, thunderstorms had moved instead of due east, they shifted to the northeast, moved kind of north of Houston. Heavy rains fell in some portions of northern Harris County. Intercontinental Airport got shower activity, but a new cell of thunderstorms began to form from Del Rio up toward the northeast. And then by 9 o'clock, this is an infrared satellite photographs, thunderstorms continuing to be heavy, as a matter of fact, getting a little bit heavier north of Houston in uh, what they call Deep East Texas, and also even heavier thunderstorms forming around the De uh, Del Rio area. At the present time, LaSalle, uh, rather LaSalle, and Dimmitt counties are under uh, severe thunderstorm and tornado watches. As a matter of fact, much of Deep South Texas is under a tornado watch until later tonight, generally in an area about like this. The heavier thunderstorms are around the Catula area, and they're moving in an east or a northeasterly direction. If they were to hold up, they could potentially move through Houston later uh, tonight or early tomorrow morning. However, they are pretty far away and they're not moving that rapidly. Shower activity continues over most of Texas. Most of the rain left in the Houston area is light rain. However, with this frontal system here and the low pressure cell there, uh, the weather is not over yet. As a matter of fact, indications are tomorrow could be a lot like today. Let's look at eyewitness radar and see if we can get a picture of what's happening. First of all, you see the two main areas of rain. We'll isolate the uh, northern part of the radar display, and you see up around Lufkin and around, uh, along the Sabine River some very heavy thunderstorms. And then looking to the west, you see the thunderstorms, uh, and those have to be pretty strong to show up that far away from Catula to San Antonio. That's where the worst weather is at the present time. Low temperature in Houston this, uh, today was 71. That was at 6 o'clock this morning. The high at 3 this afternoon, 82. Right now, temperatures are in the mid-70s. Barometer is rising. Winds are from the south. Relative humidity, 91%. Forecast cloudy skies tomorrow with a 50% chance of rain during the day, decreasing to 20% by tomorrow night. Things should begin to get better by Saturday. Partly sunny skies. Southeasterly wind shifting to the northwest on Sunday. Sunny skies, 65 to 86. I talked to Eyewitness News photographer Dave Robinson, who just returned to the station, and he said that almost every freeway in the city is reporting a rash of accidents this evening. It's like we've forgotten, to drive, uh, forgotten how to drive in the rain. So if you have to be somewhere tonight, drive very carefully, because every accident causes a couple of more accidents from rubberneckers. State. Okay, thank you, Ed, and we'll be back in just a minute. Oh, hello. <laughs> mm. Midnight Chicago? We had plenty of money to take the big client out for a night on the town, but when the boss puts him on a midnight flight to Chicago to close the big deal, well, I... Carry a Quicksilver card and you can withdraw as much as $1,000 a day from your account at more than 30 different 24-hour banks all around Houston. Quicksilver to the rescue. Quicksilver, the 24-hour bank. Take that power string off that car yesterday to get the wash off. I've been working for Bill 10 years, and I like it here. It's free enterprise that lets me choose what kind of work I want to do and where. I could go somewhere else or open my own shop. Free enterprise gives me a lot of choices. Employers Insurance of Texas brings you this as a reminder that the free enterprise system works. And it works for everybody. Would you spend 60 seconds or less to win a free home or condominium worth up to $60,000? Simply visit any area U.S. home community and register. To qualify, you must be 18 or older and renting a home or apartment or moving into Houston. Take less than 60 seconds for a chance to win a home worth up to $60,000. On May 28th, someone is going to win a new U.S. home. For all we know, it could be you. Consider the paintbrush, one of man's oldest tools, impervious to 20th century technology, about as good as it's ever gonna get. Now consider the power painter, new, electric, faster than brushes, easier than rollers, cleaner, more versatile. After thousands of years, the brush stops here. At last, the power painter by Wagner Spray Tech. That's the late report of Eyewitness News. Stay tuned now for ABC News Nightline. Thank you for being with us, and good night. Only Crown Plumbing gives you 30-minute emergency service anywhere in Greater Houston, and there's never a service call charge at Crown. The fastest plumbers in town. Shop 
shopping for your family or shopping for yourself. What you want is quality, the best that's on the shelf. So pick up that calico, cause that means country pride. And country pride means chicken with a little love inside. A little love and a lot of pride, that's country pride chicken. A little love and a lot of pride, that's country pride chicken. To some people, the Audi 5000 is a good example of a fuel-efficient five-passenger German car. But according to the fuel economy sticker, your government requires on every new car sold in America, this Pontiac Bonville with V6 engine offers better estimated city gas mileage. And according to this sticker, the V6 Bonville is priced $3,808 less. Is it possible that Pontiac is the real efficiency expert? Watch here tomorrow at 3 on the Million Dollar Movie.